Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek at Spiel 2016. I'm sitting down again with Corne Van Morsel from Kuali Games, and you brought us Habitats. Uh, yes, this is the new game. And, uh, a I'm new year, a new game. <laughs> I'm presenting it here. I it got it uh, yesterday. And, uh, <laughs> just in time. Every, uh -huh. Just in time, and but everything is perfect, so I'm, uh, I'm happy with the result. <laughs> So I will just explain it uh, quickly to you. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, you see the name Habitats, Habitats in English. Um, that uh, is about the habitats for animals in this game. So you must try to make that, that the animals in your wildlife park, because you are working at the wildlife park, and you must try to make that the animals have the right habitats uh, in your park. And that scores you points. That's the main idea of it. And there are some uh, or several extra things like watchtowers for tourists, like uh, tourist special demand, uh, extra uh, uh, calls during the game and uh, extra entrance roads because at the start everyone has one star tile and that already has an entrance building and an entrance road and uh, the uh, now suppose uh, you have black here suppose black is the start player maybe right. you see black is uh, this animal the black <laughs> animal brown is this red and yellow is the giraffe in this case and the the animal figures that are just the pawns of the players, they fit nicely to the team, but they are not the animals in the game. The animals in the game is what you see on the tiles. Got it. And this is just for the, for the fun uh, of, the, <laughs> of the special parts. Suppose that Black is the start player. He starts with only uh, the start tile. And Black will, uh, every time when it is your turn, you take a tile in front of you or at your right side or at your left side, you never can go backwards. And maybe, just to give an example, maybe Black wants to go to the right side to take this uh, giraffe tile. Then Black will place a new tile ah, and where the space he came just from. Left. And he will attach this tile to his park here, here or here. Not at the entrance road, of course. Maybe he places it here, just to give an example. Now you look if the habitat requirements are fulfill fulfilled for the animal, and it's not fulfilled yet, of course. Because it's the, looking the, for water, leaves, and... Yeah, it needs water, uh, so like these tiles. It needs uh, forest, a little bit like this. And it needs some crest tile, and it already has, because the star tile is, in, in the case of black, that is a crest tile. But it still needs uh, water and uh, somewhere so around. those are things you might look for in a future turn. Yes. And first you place it upside down, but then you see the number, uh, the score that you finally can get, you see upside down. As soon as you fulfill it complete, you place it like this, and then it's easy at the end of the game, you see all the points you score. Now all the other players have a turn, maybe uh, yellow wants to go here. So we New put a tile, tile in the where they left Now yellow, yellow takes a tile not with an animal but with an entrance uh, road. And you can place it again anywhere where you want. But the entrance road that must be uh, free because that are the entrances to your park. So maybe you want to place it like this in this case. So you cannot place it like this. The entrance roads must be uh, free, that are the uh, extra entrances uh, to your park. And to score the points, you must connect every open site. Ooh. And the, the idea of it is that you, when you have extra, when you build extra entrance roads to your park, it's nice for the visitors when they can go in many directions as, as possible to, into your park. So you'd be looking to potentially fill yeah. out a tile yeah. here where these and little... If you have this early in the game, you are quite certain that you have the moments that you, that you want something to place there. And uh, maybe red takes this tile, this new. This is a tile with uh, the uh, butterfly does not need a certain landscape, but just needs flowers around. Three flowers, but it brings five points if you, re if you reach it. So now that we have an idea of what a turn feels like, yep. what triggers the end of the game? Mm -hmm. Okay, I <laughs> wanted to do a bit more, but... Uh, okay. Well, we just want to uh, give a, a quick overview. Yeah, but uh -huh. then I can better uh, not do the first turns, but do a few other turns. But okay, 
Uh, you have an idea about the first term. I do. <laughs> um, one thing I should explain if you are, you cannot block each other, but you can jump over the other Okay, player so too. you don't get stuck yeah. in the corner. Precise. <laughs> um, yeah, finally uh, you build uh, further and there are some special tiles like uh, the Watts Tower. If you place it like here, all the animals around, but only the animals who have the right habitat brings you extra points. And also the uh, flowers around bring you, bring you extra points. And there are tiles like this. If you place it like here, just for an example, you see that uh, with this tile you must build a big lake for for this uh, tourist. So the bigger the lake is, the more points it brings <laughs> at the end of the game. At the end of the game you see, uh, that's after about 20 turns in total, then you see your complete park and you see where uh, the points you score. And after one third, after two thirds, and at the end of the game you have an extra goal where you compete between uh, all players for uh, for the okay, best. I'm going to put those in the middle so we can actually see them a little mm -hmm. bit better. Okay. So yeah. we'll have first, there are third, nine, second, there are, third. There are nine in total, but you place every round, every game you place three. And so it gives a little difference from game to game. Yeah. I just placed a few which are easy to explain. <laughs> uh, this is just about the biggest area, so then you want to have the biggest area and you score points according to the player with the biggest area scores three points in, at first and the second player two and so on. And the second, uh, after the second year, sec second six uh, turns, it's for a bit more points and at the end it's again for a bit more, more points. Here you have one, you must keep it closed and you must try to build everything close to your entrance. <laughs> and here you must try to build a compact park so that you, uh, yeah, that brings you the, the most points if you have the most compact park at the end. And these, all these uh, extra, uh, all these coal tiles make that you must think a bit different than, than you normally do for your animals and for the other tiles in your park. So it's quite complex to make the best choices. Right, because you want yeah. the best choices for your park, but then everyone's working towards these. So but the, the rules are quite easy, but it's uh, the complexity is in yeah, every tile you add gives you extra opportunities, but it also blocks you opportunities. So every time you are happy with the tile, but at, at the same time you regret for some reasons also. And the trick of the game is a bit that you try to hold many options open for later in the game that you are uh, yeah, that, that you have many choices which are all good for you. That's a bit uh, yeah, that's a trick. How long do you think a, a game would typically take? It's about 40 minutes uh, per game. And two to four players? Two to, two to five, five players. Wow, even better. The, the size <laughs> of this market depends on the number of players. And I, oh, yeah, of course, many small things but uh, oh well, uh, well we'll let people go it's, buy it's, it it's quite complete it's quite uh, in general it's quite complete this uh, explanation well i am really glad that this came in yesterday mm -hmm. so just in time <laughs> so you could show it here today yeah. so if you guys are interested in this this is habitats by cornan van bolso from the swally games and thank you so much for letting us take a look thank you <laughs>